and the Grand Priest does not shield himself at all. Freeze's energy ball had no effect on the Grand Priest. Then guys, what he does next is he looks directly at Frieza's spaceship. And within the spaceship, he sees Beerus and Whis. Alright, so today I got to re-upload for you guys. And I uploaded this video about one month ago. And guys, the problem was there was some audio issues. And on the other hand, I also got a copyright claim as well. And you guys all know how YouTube is these days. The things that are happening, it just blows my mind, guys. And it is honestly crazy. So once again, guys, today I got a story for you guys. And this is a re-upload. Do keep that in mind. And guys, this story takes place in the past of Planet Vegeta. And so before I begin, I just want to say that this story is 100% fan-made. It has been made by me and one of my good friends. Friends. So guys, this story is nothing confirmed, nothing official. So guys, once again, it is 100% fan-made. Alright, so this story begins in the past when Frieza came to destroy Planet Vegeta along with the entire Saiyan race. In Universe 7, as Frieza was hovering over Planet Vegeta with his entire Frieza force, someone was watching everything take place. And that someone is the king of the multiverse, and that is the Omni King. And the person that was showing Zeno all this, that was the Grand Priest. And as Zeno was watching everything happen, he saw that only one Saiyan was face to face with Frieza. And that was Bardock, the father of Goku. And as Zeno got very interested in Bardock, so he was asking many questions about Bardock. And the Grand Priest told Omni King everything about Bardock. As Frieza was building up his energy ball, the Zeno says, okay, go get him. So the Grand Priest immediately disappears. And the first place that he goes to is Earth. And as he's looking around, he says, everything looks good here. And then guys, once again, he disappears. And right now, he goes to Planet Vegeta. But Planet Vegeta is no more. Grand Priest arrived a bit too late. An hour late. And guys, right now, the Grand Priest starts looking around. And then what he does next is he extends his hands forward, his right hand. And then he rotates it to the left. And as he's doing that, we see Planet Vegeta once again slowly coming back together the grand priest has rewinded time so we all know that we can reverse time for three minutes but guys in this story the grand priest can reverse time for as much as he wants to and right now after the grand priest has reversed time planet vegeta is back frieza is back everyone is back on planet vegeta and most importantly once again bardock is face to face with frieza and guys as frieza launches his attack directly at planet vegeta once again Bardock is engulfed by that attack. Every piece of armor in Bardock's body was ripped apart from the heat from the energy blast. And as Frieza's energy ball is fully about to hit Bardock, then guys the Grand Priest jumps right in front of Bardock. And then guys he shields Bardock in the energy ball. And the Grand Priest does not shield himself at all. Frieza's energy ball had no effect on the Grand Priest. Then guys what he does next is he looks directly at Frieza's spaceship. And within the spaceship, he sees Beerus and Whis. But guys, Beerus and Whis do not notice the Grand Priest. And then guys, the Grand Priest just smiles at Beerus and Whis. And then he disappears. And moments before Planet Vegeta's destruction, Grand Priest appears on Planet Vegeta with Bardock. Then guys, the Grand Priest finds Jine, the mother of Goku. And right now, Jine is very confused and she has no idea what is going on. Because right now, she's seeing Bardock with the Grand Priest. And right now, Bardock is heavily unconscious. Then the Grand Priest smiles at Jine and he says, Jine, don't worry, your son is where he needs to be. Then guys, the Grand Priest disappears. And he goes directly to the Omni King with the unconscious Bardock. And after the Omni King sees Bardock, the Omni King gets very happy. And the real reason why the Omni King saved Bardock, that is because he's looking for four more strong fighters. Very powerful fighters. But Bardock was nowhere near the power that the Omni King wanted. But what the Omni King liked about Bardock was, he was completely fearless. Bardock deep down knew that Frieza was much much stronger than him, but he did not care about that. He tried his best to protect planet Vegeta along with the entire Saiyan race. Bardock knew that he could die, but he still was fearless and he went face to face with Frieza. And that was someone the Omni King was looking for. And lastly, the Grand Priest tells the Omni King he is on Earth now and he is in good hands. Everything is going according to plan, my lord. Anyways guys, that is about it. That's all I have for you guys today. Do let me know what you guys think about this. Comment share down below. And you guys, this is not the end of the story. If you guys want a part 2, let me know by giving this video a huge thumbs up. Anyways guys, if you guys are brand new to this channel, be sure to subscribe for more videos like this. Anyways guys, once again, thank you all so much for watching. And have a blessed day everyone.